Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the how to traversing the DOM. So we have learned already learned about how to access the DOM elements, and also we have learned about the nodes and all those things. Now let's time for us to learn about the traversing the DOM. Let's get to the new topic: how to traverse the DOM. I mean to say that how to move up and down in the DOM tree. So we are able to select a particular element, right? So if you want to move to the up and down, so up and down means in order to capture the parent element or the child child element like this. So we'll discuss about this parent child and all those things. So how to move up and down in the DOM tree? Let's try to see. So we already learned that in the DOM, DOM is the root node. So you need to understand that document. Document is the in the DOM. Document is the root node, and and the DOM has all the branches that is nothing but nodes so we have an hta what i can say body node ha head node like this we will be having right so document is the root node so now when you want to move up and down in the dom tree means so that is called as in traversing the dom before traversing this first we need to understand about the dom family tree we already discussed we already discussed so dom is nothing but a tree like structure so in order to traversing for in order to before traversing so before understanding about the traversing moving up and down and all those things first we need to understand this dom family tree family tree may i mean to say is so we will be having this parent child relationship and all those things that is the reason i mentioned this one as a family tree so we need to understand about the dom tree so there are some terminologies which we use it in the programming world so we'll try to learn it for example let's say that you have a parents and your parents have children so you have a parents and your parents have children children means you, you are not only the children so you your parents may be having more than one children now in that you are one of them so like this think of this one as a family thing dom also like that so you have a parents and your parents have a children if you got more than one it means you you have got a sibling so your parents are having more than one children means that means you are having a sibling so this is the relationship you need to understand sibling etc in order to understand how to traverse the dom it all begins with understanding how family tree works so if you want to understand how to traverse the sum so if you want to do the traversing the dom and all those things it all begins with understanding how family tree works all nodes in the dom can be expressed as parents children and siblings all nodes in the dom can be expressed so the whatever the nodes in the dom we are having all the nodes in the dom can be expressed as parents children and also siblings so these three terminologies will be there so either it, either if a node is there means either it can be a parent children or sibling so like this you will be having the parent of any node is just the node that placed immediately above above it the parent when we call this parent of a node so if any node is there placed immediately above it that one that node is called as an parent when it comes to traversing the dom there are two main methods we can use to get the parent node so when we are traversing the dom there are two main methods available in the dom api in order to get the parent node for a particular node the first method is parent node and the second method is we can use this parent element we have already uh, written this parent node when we are trying to see about the html live collection and also the uh, what i can say uh, static node list so we have seen we have seen this parent node while catching the list item so in order to catch the ul item the parent node so we have used this parent node so that is the same thing what i want to discuss you you will discuss more about this parent don't get confused about these all things you'll discuss more about this parent concept parent node parent element these all things you'll discuss more about that one next <clears throat> if the parent has two children what is a child so now if the parent has two children so what is a child so in the dom terminology what is a child the child of a node is the node which is immediately below it so if we the if the node is immediately above it that above node is called as a parent if the node is immediately below it then it is called as a child node often programmer refers to these nodes that are beyond one level of nesting as descendants so often in the programmers they call it as a descendants normally you can add as child nodes also you can the programming world we can add as descendants this is just terminology what we will hear in the programming world but what about if you are looking at a children within a family so if you want to look at the children within a family these are referred to as a siblings so these are called as siblings so if the children are there the dom the nodes which are on the same level 
those are re those are referred to as a siblings a sibling of a node is a name is a any node in the same tree level in that particular node so in the same level it is called as a sibling node the interesting part is that sibling nodes do not have to be the to be of the same type the sibling nodes what we are trying to learn the the thing they are, what we are trying to learn is they are not of the same time they should not be of the same time so they can have so they can have whatever the node that type they have. we already learned about the node types right element node text node common node they can be of any type this means that we can have different node types we can have comment node text node element node etc in the sibling nodes there are three types of nodes we have in any family tree we have parent nodes child nodes and also the sibling nodes so these are the three types of nodes in any family tree we will be having that is nothing but parent node children node and sibling nodes now we will try to learn the practical implementation of this one parent node and all those things so this is all about the theory of this traversing the dom so first i want to make you comfortable with the parent node child node sibling nodes these are all the things so if you are comfortable with these things then we can proceed to the next thing hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you